Welcome to Mornings with Lou Ann and Tim, brought to you by Alex Parr. No, <laughs> KC Security. Oh. Our sponsors, KC Security, thank you very much for sponsoring the morning show. I am back. I had a bad day yesterday, Alex Ooh, Parr. Oh, did you ever. We managed, we managed. You did. I have this medical condition, I've had it for a long time. It's called. I used to call it nutcracker esophagus, mm -hmm. but then my doctor here in the zoo says, oh, he calls it jackhammer esophagus. Basically, your esophagus is like a little snake-like thing, and it takes things and it moves it down into your uh, Netherlands. <laughs> the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's Brussels. Anyway, <laughs> my esophagus once in a while decides it doesn't want to do that. It does this. And it's like having a heart attack, basically. What it, it doesn't allow anything to come up. It makes you physically ill. Um, things get... Are you showing a picture of, really, is that my esophagus? I never knew what it looked like. Jacob, you're good, man. I know. So anyway, it, it just you never know what's <laughs> going to bring it on. It can be brought on by anxiety or stress. It can be brought on by diet. I think yesterday it was, a, well, I think it was a combination of things. But at any rate, I came into work and I ended up doubled over, had to go and yeah, you were take care of it. You were maybe here for like a minute. I saw you were like, nope, never mind, going home. Can't do it. No. So thank you very much to the team here for creating a half hour show on the fly. Mm -hmm. In so doing, though, they kind kind of chopped up an interview I did with Mark Dunn. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we felt badly about that. So we're going to rebroadcast Mark Dunn's interview and song in its entirety. He's written a song in support of the soup kitchen. And uh, so we're going to re-air that in its entirety this morning. Plus I've got interviews. Oh, oh, teeth whitening. I almost got blinded. I had my teeth whitened, you guys. Da Vinci. You've probably seen the ads on mm -hmm. television. Mm -hmm. It's in town now. There's a, uh, we have a Da Vinci in town. So um, we're going to show me getting my teeth whitened. And also it's Fur and Feathers Friday. Of course it is. So it's a really full show today. So there'll be a little bit less banter and more interviews, more mm -hmm. fun stuff to watch. They're cutting us so short today. I know. And you have the news. I've got the news. Yeah. I've got a little bit of news from last night. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't know if that. There was oh. a rally in Cincinnati for President Trump, his campaign oh, this rally. this is not a good way to start a story. No, 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 no. He, you know, he makes some pretty wild promises and accusations during his rallies. He gets fired up. Well, last night, he stood in front of his however many thousands of people broadcasting that um, if he gets elected for a second term, he will eradicate AIDS from the United States. They will cure childhood cancer and he will lay the foundations to put an astronaut on Mars. He says they're very That's close to... for yeah. me. That's <laughs> enough for me. He says they're we're, very we're close to eradicating AIDS in the U.S. And uh, they're making great progress in childhood cancer. So here's the deal, folks. In case you didn't know this, he cut cancer research funding. Okay. He fired, demoted, or moved all scientists and scientific innovators from his admi administration. Okay. He has taken mm -hmm. no actions and made no investments in AIDS research. There were 38,700 new cases of AIDS reported in 2016, which basically says the newly diagnosed cases of AIDS has remained stable between 2012 and 2016. There really have not been great advancements so in the United States about reducing numbers. If Trump doesn't get reelected, you can go, hmm, yeah, we've got the cures, but we're, we're, not, not, getting getting them, we're not getting them now. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be something, eh, Alex? Good point. So he continues to lie and uh, lead on his base. I don't know whether they chanted yesterday. But oh, let's hope not. Now, wow. we're cutting very short on time for banders today, but I love dumb criminal stories more than... More. They've got such a special place in my heart. Now, Michael Harold from Ohio, let me tell you, thank you for this, because we've only got maybe 45 more seconds, okay. but that's all I need. Goes to a U.S. bank, yeah. has a piece of paper, slides it to them, and says, give me the money. He went to the DMV. robbing the bank. Yeah, he went to the DMV just prior to that. He had to run some errands before he robbed the bank. <laughs> <laughs> the paper that he wrote on had his address and his name on it. And the From the DMV? Yep. And the police said, well, that made it pretty easy for us. Don't you have any forethought when you're going to rob a bank? What's the guy's name? Michael Harold. He could run for the president of the United States. Listen, we have a great show. Please stay tuned. Coming up next is Mark Dunn. And uh, the song is called Landlords and Grocery Stores. Enjoy. Ooh. back to mornings with My name is Clement. I am 17. I do have a little brother. He is 5 years younger than me and despite the fact that we're both blind, we're just normal kids. 
sibling rivalries and fights and arguments. Sometimes we play games together, yeah. I find most people tend to have this perception of blindness as a huge physical handicap. Incoming! Which it isn't. CNIB. Seeing beyond vision loss. I love women. I love older women. Professional women. Stay-at-home moms. I love how women put the family first. I love how you're so concerned that I'll get to your husband. You have no idea that I'm coming after you. Make. Death. Wait. Please donate to fund life-giving research. Because heart disease and stroke is the number one killer of women. back to Mornings with Luann and Tim, and joining me in the studio right now is Mark Dunn, MD, MD Dunn? Yeah, sure. Can I call you Mark? You may. Because that's how I know <laughs> that you. That is my name. Mark yeah, Dunn, Mark. The River Lately, this was your ninth CD that you've... That's the ninth album, yeah. Came Mark, out last year. when did you start recording? Uh, how long ago? Early in the 90s, uh, when I, my first thing was uh, called um, After the Great Sleep. Uh, yeah. In 1992, and it just it came out on cassette, and there were really none of Cassettes. Yeah. Remember those? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 92. You, When did you start playing? How old were you? Um, I've been playing 37 years now. Holy Playing and writing. And performing slightly less. It took seven years to kind of <gasps> woodshed, and then so I started about 30 Now, with this CD, with The River Lately, uh, it's the Innocent Weapon Ensemble, as we see here, the Innocent yes. Weapon Ensemble. Uh, quite a collection of musicians you have oh, working yeah. with you there, sir. Ken Coulter on drum. Warren and Lynn Reveal, mm -hmm. Craig West, Josh Norley, and Lindsay Pugh. Like, that's kind of cream of the crop in Sue Sam. Yeah, right? I'm very lucky. Uh, well, I think they're lucky too, Mark. Um, all original. Yes. Do you do all of the writing or do any of the other performers with you um, co create with you? Well, I'd say the writing is mostly me, but um, everybody brings in their own thing. Like, Warren will come up with a bass line based right. on, the, on the music. So they probably don't get adequate uh, recognition. Oh, well, their there, we just did it. <laughs> Take that. Uh, but really, the reason that you're here is not necessarily to promote The River Lately, although it is available. It is. How, where? Um, Sunrise Records, uh, Rad Zone, uh, my website. Nice. Yeah. And the website is? Uh, MDDunn.com. Perfect. Mark, yes, you sir. have taken on a project called Landlords and Grocery... Well, you created a project, basically, called Landlords and Grocery Stores. Give mm -hmm. me a little bit of background on what brought that brought you to create the song and sure. the idea for marketing it to be a fundraiser for uh, the food bank okay okay so we just finished the album and you finished uh, this album. that album and usually what happens is i won't write for a while i'm just kind of finished for a bit and then so i wrote this song um Th this landlords and, grocery yeah, stores. landlords and grocery stores and it kind of came about i had a guitar piece that i was putting together for a local play and i was offering it to um uh, Wendy Hamilton. Of, <gasps> Wendy, yeah. yeah uh, Moments in Algoma, her play. Right, right. So I made that offer and I was playing this thing for her and um, and then I stole it back <laughs> to put these lyrics on it because they worked well so with you the had lyrics. The, so the, the, the tune was there yeah. without lyrics Yeah. and then the idea of the the song, the song yeah. came to you and you combine the two lyrics yeah. with the... Oh, yeah, okay, the song, cool. it doesn't usually work that way. It's, it's always different, right? So sometimes... Right. The song will come just by playing on the guitar and just kind of making nonsense sounds and sure. lyrics after a while. But this one was different. It had this, the music and then um, I just wrote it as a poem kind of thing. And the idea is that, um, of the song, uh, it, it, it's basically talking about how a person or people who are on sort of basic income. Right, which um, is a lot of us. I would say that yeah, I'm not, not far sure. from that, you know. No. I'm one paycheck away from <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, most people are. I mean, what is, what is the, uh, like, 40% of Canadians are... Living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. more, actually, yeah. than that. And so, I've heard many times people arguing that um, Ontario works or welfare systems are burdens on society and, you know, the, and that they drain our, our resources and that. And um, so, I've just kind of had one too many of those discussions with people and... And it occurred to me that, well, all of that money goes to pay rent and groceries. Like, no one's profiting. What, what is it right now? Do you know what the allowance is? If for a single person on Ontario Works, it's six fifty six. Six $656 a, a month. month. And they get uh, $200 you extra. Gotta, you got to pay rent out of that? 
rent and food, yeah, and okay. whatever else you need too. Yeah, right. right. Um, and and uh, then you can only work up to a certain amount. Two hundred dollars. So After you, beyond two hundred dollars, you lose you those lose benefits. Yeah. So I don't know the uh, you know I can't do the math quickly enough, but if one is working minimum wage, two hundred dollars a week. And if you start, a person starts working forty hours a week, they're basically still making the the eight fifty right. whatever they're making, right. right? Topped out at. So it, it's not quite a fair system. Um, so, and and yeah. before the before the interview started, we you and I both spoke. I was on welfare at one time in yeah. my life when I was a starving actor in Toronto. I went on welfare. You yeah. you've been on welfare as well. Yes, well, as soon as I it, came back to Sault Ste. Maria. Well, yeah. for heaven's sake, I wouldn't have had. I needed glasses. I needed dental work done. I was yeah. I had nothing. So yeah, exactly. I mean, and then eventually you get back on your feet. But it's nice yeah. to have that there to help you out when you're destitute, right? Yeah, it's it's. You know, poverty is a struggle enough. We don't need the systems that try to support people uh, to be a struggle in itself, right? And then things happened that kind of along the way you were talking about some of the there was a what was the, the what was the project that sure. was underway that got cancelled? Yeah, so there was this project the previous Ontario government had undertaken. It was a four-year study into guaranteed income, and they had the Sioux had petitioned to be part of it. And but uh, I don't know how many groups there were around the province that were doing this, and mm -hmm. they ran it for two years, and then that program was cancelled. <laughs> Yeah. And these people, in the meantime, had, you know, gotten decent housing for the first time. They they were working, making extra money. So it seemed like back the to school. It seemed like it was working the program. I getting some results. I don't. Yeah, that I don't but, know, and we'll never know. In fact, because that study was canceled. But they pulled the plug. Yeah. So two years of investing in that program, and now there's no data. Right. You said they could have had some really useful data to draw from if they carried oh, yeah. on and finished yeah. finished the slot to completion. Perhaps they they would have at least been able to see if it is viable to offer a guaranteed income to certain people, or you know. But now we will never know that. So all of this, it can get a little uh, under uh, overwhelming, make you feel a little bad about the situation, yeah. right? And so awareness raising is that what this is about? I guess so. So the song kind of you know all these things are going through my mind, and I just wrote the the kind of poem. It's sort of a in the voice of someone who's going through a situation like that yeah. um, and dealing with a friend of mine, well, Craig West, the, the fellow who yeah, mixed yeah. and played bass, some bass on that album, uh, he he said something really neat about the song. He said it's like a, an argument at Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> with the family, right? And right. So it's kind of like that. It's a, sort of a discussion about um, explaining to someone why... Um, this isn't good enough. Yeah, exactly. And it's yeah. the system we have isn't, isn't really sufficient working. to deal yeah. with yeah. the poverty that we're facing exactly. as, an, as a nation. Yeah. And that's kind of the gist of the song and um, so you you it came up with a little too late to put it on yes. uh, the river lately. So you decided Yeah, so decided um, we all liked the song and then we just started playing it and building it and, and uh, producing it and um, I was just going to put it as a single yeah. that people could download if they wanted and I thought, well, if people, because Bandcamp has this really nice quality that you can tip, right? You can put a song up there for free, you can yeah. download it, but you can offer a tip. People can, oh. Yeah, so I thought, you know, if anyone gives money, if they like the song, if they've listened to it, or if they download care it. About, or care, care about the cause. Sure. Even if they're not crazy about the song, Mark, as long as they care about the cause, they can donate. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but you're going to love the song, just wait. But I'd say if you just if you just want to donate, donate directly to the cause that okay. that you, you have. Like And the cause you've chosen? Is the uh, Soup Kitchen Community Center in the Soup. Right. Because they do just tremendous work. I don't know how many, but thousands of families, thousands of meals. I think it's like tens of thousands of meals. I'm probably certain. more than that a, a yeah. year and um, really a skeleton crew there's Ron Sim and and, and um, the couple people that work there and right. the volunteers so you know they've been around for a long time don't know how long neither do I but yeah. that's okay yeah uh, so this is your way of um, you know raising some awareness and throwing some support their way yeah I hope so and it's not going to change anything for them I'm, you know I'm not delusional in that um, you know, there's not a lot of money coming into uh, buying singles, uh, but uh, whatever comes through will will go to them. And I just hope maybe someone might hear the song and either get angry about it or. Hey, do you ever do? Uh, yeah. Now you guys don't gig a lot. Uh, you're, you're you're more of a studio ensemble, more of a studio. Well, I play solo as much as possible. But, when you, you know. do, do, would you do you ever consider doing things like? Do you talk about this per, if you perform this song live? Yeah. Would that be the kind of thing you could say? And by the way, pass a hat, or there's a sp place to donate. I mean, I'm just wondering whether yeah. that would be an idea. That's a great idea. So that oftentimes when you go see a Broadway show, it's like yeah. Equity Fights AIDS, and so for one performance, oh, the yeah, performers yeah. come out after the show in costume and they stand at yeah. the door with buckets and say, "Give us 
You can't, that was nice that you bought a ticket or you paid yeah, to cover yeah. whatever, but in the meantime, on your way out, throw some money in the bucket. That's a great idea. Where, you, 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 so all I need now is a gig. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you, you're going to now offer us a performance yes. of Landlords and Grocery Stores. Thank you. MD Dunn. Uh, they can buy it online? Online at mddunn.com. Mm -hmm. uh, the single and um, and there's a link from there's a link yeah to go to mddun.com yeah. and you will find everything you need to yeah. buy his CDs and also this single landlords and grocery stores Mark thanks for being here thank you Tim take it away thank you How could that possibly be? All the money goes to landlords and grocery stores Upstream where they make the rules On the hilltop they talk like fools With the minds too dull for dreaming
beautiful. You know what's going to be really cool? Because that was a beautiful acoustic version of it. I can't wait to hear it now. I'll flesh it with all your fellow musicians. There you go. It's online. All right. Online. Thanks, MD Dunn, Landlords and Grocery Stores, in support of the Sault Ste. Marie Soup Kitchen. Yes. Okay. Thanks for being Thanks. here, Mark. And we'll be back with more. More with Luann and Tim right after this. something going I think it's terrific no hot pets that's what it's called you know what it's for it's for dummies that leave their pets in the car if you see this and you're walking by and you see a pet in a hot car roasting away the wind is up you call the police or call the SPCA and they'll have somebody there quick don't let our pets die in the car get involved What do you wish for? A nice life? Nice things? Or do you wish for something more? A sense of purpose? Do you wish to discover a cure? To write code that cracks an unsolvable question? To further our exploration into space? Or to invent something that changes everything right here on Earth? Well. If that's your wish, make yourself ready. Because when you look back, you'll see that you didn't just make wishes. You realize them. The average Canadian will spend their last 10 years in sickness. Change your future at makehealthlast.ca. Welcome to Mornings with Luann and Tim. Things look a little bit different in here, Rochelle. Yes, they do. You brought your own chair and everything. Yeah. Now, Rochelle, you are uh, the owner-operator of the local Da Vinci Teeth Whitening System. Yes, I am. How, this happened to you how? Tell me how this all became. Um, I moved into a new home, and we had this fabulous sunroom, and we couldn't figure out what to do with it. Um, <laughs> but... Um, you, you decided that... 
it would be a great place. A great to, place to have some sort of a business. Yes. And th so you, did you do some research? Did this sort of fall on your lap or? Yes, I was looking for something to do out of that room that yeah. not everyone else was doing. True. So it took a little bit of research and I just kind of accidentally stumbled across this and I couldn't believe it was something that I could do myself. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's history from there. What about investment wise? I mean, this is a great chair. This massage isn't everything. Yes, it does. I get a massage chair while I have my teeth whitened. Yes, I often have clients fall asleep in the chair while their teeth and are whitened. The, the fancy is that UV rays or whatever that thing is. LED, LED, LED blue light. LED blue light that yes. does the stuff. So you always have to invest a little bit of money and to make this all happen, right? Yes. Has it been pay paying off for you? Getting a Absolutely. Good? Yeah, it's a little quieter in the summertime, but. Yes. So where are you located? Uh, it's out of my home office. Uh, I am near Lake and McDonald, Kings okay. Mount Boulevard. Kings Mount, I know it. Okay, yeah. yeah, right off of Lake Street there at the top of the hill. Yes. Okay, so what kind of a time frame do you look at for having your teeth whitened? Uh, Usually, if it's your first time coming, then it's a 90-minute appointment. Okay. Uh, 80, 80 of those minutes is underneath the light with the gel on your teeth. While you vibrate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> While I get a massage? Absolutely. 80 minutes under the light, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Can I read books and stuff if I want while I'm doing that? Or? Well, it's a little difficult because you're laying back and oh. you do have glasses on and the light's here. Oh, you're getting So protected. you can, if you're going to hold your hands up, then you can read a book. It's more, more of a time to listen to music and nap. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I, we've already done this off camera. Can you show them the teeth thing? Where do you have that teeth thing? I was asked to, no, the one, the, um, the color thing. I was asked to choose my worst color and my best color of my teeth. Now I do have some caps and you said that even if you have caps, fillings, no harm, right? That's right. No harm at all. And it does whiten them. It doesn't whiten them as quickly as the other teeth, but because it's brushed on each tooth individually, I can control that. If one is brightening faster than the other, I could just leave that okay. one or skip that one. So I was able to choose my darkest and my whitest tooth from the color-coded teeth, which is kind of cool. Yes. You do this and, you, and then you recorded the colors. Yes, I did. And then so that after the fact, we can check back to see how it went. Yes. All right. So, um, if someone wants to make an appointment with you, do you have a Facebook page or how are you how are you promoting yourself mostly other than being on TV with us? Yes, I have a Facebook page. It's Da Vinci uh, SSM. Okay. Um, and you can also find me on Instagram and I also have a website in all three places you can book online. No way. Yes. Oh, that makes things so simple mm -hmm. and easy for you too, right? Yes. Okay, so what's the first thing we do then? You start painting my teeth or something? Yes. So... <laughs> Yeah. This can get a little messy, so I'm going to put a bib on you first okay, to that's protect good. your clothing. I generally have to wear a bib most of the time anyway, Rochelle. I, yeah, I tend to slobber and spit. If you've ever watched the morning show, sometimes I gob right in Luann's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Luann. I know, it's awful being her and me. Well, it's awful being her. So, now I've got my bib on. Now, before this happens, the recommendation is uh, not to brush my teeth because it could, sensitivity, is that right? What would you say? Yes. Mouthwash so, is okay, but brushing? Yes, brush, you don't want to brush your teeth within four hours before your appointment because okay. it can make your gums more sensitive to, and your teeth also a little more sensitive. Okay. So, just by doing that small thing, that'll help you out during And the afterwards, I'm going to eat a white diet for a few white days. White diet, 24 to 48 hours. So, I could do chicken and Alfredo and that kind of stuff. Absolutely. White okay. wine. White I vodka, don't no wine red anyway. wine. No, no red. Don't want to stay my teeth. No, not at all. Okay. Okay. So we need to protect your eyes. Yes, so you're we do. going to put these fancy things on. Oh, look at me. All right then. <laughs> I'm looking at the world through rose colored glasses now, Rochelle. It's lovely. Oh, those aren't for me, are they? Those you're going to stick your hands you. in my mouth now, aren't you? Well, not uh, too much is, in your mouth. Th there's no pain or discomfort, is there? Not at all. Okay, good. Am I, I scaring you? Well, I, I, you won't scare me and tell, me, tell you to tell me to stand up and bend over. Then I might get a little <laughs> nervous. Okay, so this is a lip retractor. Oh, is this the one thing you put in and play those games? Absolutely. Have you played those games? You can you keep this after those? if you want to do that. Yeah, now what do I do? I can do that for you. You do it for me. Okay, here we go. Are you okay. ready? <laughs> so I want you to make like an O. Uh-huh. Woo! Okay, and this goes in one side uh -huh. and the other. And then you just relax. It goes in front of your teeth. Uh-huh. Just like that. Look okay. how beautiful that is. There are certain words you can't say with this in your mouth. Like if you play hockey and you hit something around the ring, <laughs> you can't say that word with one of these things in your mouth. Not when you're on air. This is really attractive, I'm certain. Are they seeing all my ugly dental work that I didn't have done properly because I couldn't afford cash? Yes, they are. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> so this is a vitamin E oil. I have a whole bucket of a bunch of these little things. And this I'll be putting on your lips to help keep them moisturized while oh. they're stretched open. But I'm also going to trace your gum line yeah. all along your teeth with this. And this will act as a bit of a barrier um, to protect from the gel that I'll be using. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. 
It doesn't oh, hurt at all. Oh, that's just like a little hand in That's lovely. Oh, good. When does the chair start vibrating? <laughs> Whoa, let's hey, get that going. Why is that clock is a little kind of handy here? I can talk about... Oh! Oh, that feels good! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you can play with that there. I can play with this? <laughs> How often can I get this treatment done? Uh, you can. It's actually safe to get it done. You can do it within two weeks later if you want it to get even brighter. Even brighter? Yeah. Okay. And what well, sensitivity do you issue, Courtney, after this? The first 24 to 48 hours after you get this done, it will be very sensitive because the process that, that opens tickles. up your teeth. Does that, that tickle? Tickles. <laughs> okay, you know what? we got to take... You're going to keep working on it. Okay. We're going to come back and check in with us later. All right. And we'll see how it goes. Sounds good. So far, so good. I'm extremely comfortable, except for this thing. But <laughs> You'll forget about that after a while. I will. So now I'm all, I'm all moved up. And now you're going to start actually putting the stuff on the teeth? Yes, I am. And then we'll do this. We'll come back and we'll show me with that thing going right. on, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, Rochelle. We'll be back with me under the light. So we'll do the magic of television. Here we go. Go ahead, think away. <laughs> I'm going to relax now. Oh, it's more back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, update. We're about two or halfway through, right, Rochelle? Yes. Rochelle Rodriguez, once again, is still here with me, keep me company. Although, if we were in your front porch, you'd be like doing your dishes or walking your dog or something. <laughs> well, not walking your dog, <laughs> I but still walking my you dog. wouldn't just leave the house. <laughs> but you don't stay in the front porch and watch like you the whole time. No, I'm not going to sit and stare at you for 90 That's, minutes. Thank you. You also offer like great comfort services. Yes, I do. Give me an example. Okay, so when you... Wait, first of all, where's my jingle bell? Oh, Jingle Bells. So if I'm lying here and I'm quite comfortable and the chair is hydrating and it's got all kinds, it's got lumbar, it's got upper back, it's got, it's got, it massages your bum. Anyway, <laughs> if by any chance I need something or I'm uncomfortable, I ring my little Jingle Bells. And I come running. And you come to the front porch to see me. Yes. And what kinds of things do you do for you to keep me comfy on here? I ask you what kind of music you'd like to listen to or what kind of genre and uh, genre, and I put that on for you. You're if like you... a DJ? Well, kind of. a personal DJ. Okay. And I have blankets if you get to get a bit of a chill Ooh. while you're laying there and tuck you in nice and cozy. Nice. I got blankets. I got music. I got a vibrating chair. I got to tell you, this is not uncomfortable at all. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. It's not because it's, <laughs> it's it's loose enough that I have a little play. And you and because also you uh, you put the lubricant about the vitamin E on my lips. Vitamin E oil. Can you talk about some of the stuff that's inside the the stuff you put on my teeth. That's so good for me. Okay, um, it's a food grade hydrogen peroxide. It's FDA approved and it's organic, certified organic. Uh, there is aloe vera in there mm. as well. Uh, avocado oil, mm. vitamin A. Calcium. Mm -hmm. Calcium um, is good for your teeth. Yes, some other vitamins and minerals, uh -huh. and it is all uh, natural and uh, plant based. And I already had to rinse and spit once. Yes. There is no nasty taste. I thought it tasted a little like coconut. You were surprised to hear that. But anyway, I thought it was very tasty and comfortable. And so we do this two more sessions of mm -hmm. this under the light, all yes. in one time, 90 minutes, and you're in and out. Yes. So we're going to come back again when all this is done, and I'm going to talk about how the rest of the experience went, and then we'll do a little more recapping <laughs> of how we can get a hold of you and stuff. Okay. Uh, there was something else I was going to say, though. I'll think of it later. Okay. We're going to go to a commercial, I think, now, Rochelle. Okay. So stay with us, and then Rochelle's going to come back later in the show, and we'll wrap up. Thank you very much, Rochelle. And so turn my, turn my chair back on, please. Here you go. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, go. Oh, I love it. Okay, we'll be back in a little while. I'm Lori Zulu and the Chef Zulu and Tim with Rochelle Rodriguez from Da Vinci. Two tightening, two tightening. Ontario established a $100 million affordability fund to help Ontarians who don't qualify for low-income conservation programs ease the burden of their electricity bill. Whether you rent or own your home, as long as you pay your electric bill, you could qualify. There are three levels of support available. The first is a home energy kit with upgrades like smart power bars and LED light bulbs. The second includes Energy Star appliances that help keep things cool during the hot summer months. 
The third is for electrically heated homes so that your power bills don't break the bank during those long Canadian winters. Plus, all upgrades, including installation, are completely free of charge. Visit affordabilityfund.org or call 1-855-494-FUND to find out if you qualify. Long-awaited federal legislation to speed up and simplify the process of getting a pardon for simple cannabis possession is now in force. Federal Justice Minister David Lametti made the announcement Thursday in Montreal. Under Bill C-93 tabled in March, people convicted of cannabis possession can apply online for a criminal pardon free of charge. The law eliminates the waiting process associated with other pardon applications and waives the $631 application fee. I'm very pleased to announce the coming into force today of Bill C-93, an act to provide no-cost expedited pardons for simple possession of cannabis. Starting today, people who have a criminal record only for simple possession of cannabis can apply for a free no-weight pardon using this expedited process, make it, making it easier to work, go to school, travel, and actively participate in their communities. We think that there are upward, there may be upwards of 250,000 people who have, in some way, shape, or form, some kind of uh, cannabis uh, possession uh, conviction. We're hoping by expediting this process to make the number of people who have access to, to the pardon reach into the thousands. Uh, but it will never get up to that point. Some of those people have died, etc. So. The, because the record keeping is non-uniform, we don't actually have the answer. This is what our best prediction is. The Canadian database, this CPIC, uh, won't show a criminal, uh, won't show that criminal conviction anymore. Uh, and so that's usually what uh, the American uh, border agents will be checking. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer is promising the premiers that he would increase health transfers and social transfer by at least 3% every year should he become Prime Minister. In a letter to provincial and territorial premier, Scheer says he wants to put the commitment in writing because he anticipates his opponents will misrepresent his position on health care funding. Scheer says millions of Canadians rely on a public health care system, including during life events, including the birth of a child, when caring for aging parents, for checkups and life-saving treatments. He also says Canadians count on education, social assistance, early learning, child care and other programs supported by the Canada Social Transfer, adding that Canadians need to be able to count on stable and predictable federal funding. In a speech to Liberal candidates Wednesday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused the Conservatives of claiming to be a party of the people but quickly turning to, quotes, cuts to health care, municipalities, child care, education and services Canadians rely on most. A spokesperson for Shear says health is an issue that stretches across all provinces and territories, adding the Conservatives know the Trudeau Liberals will, quote, try and fearmonger. President Donald Trump intensified pressure on China to reach a trade deal by saying he will impose 10% tariffs September 1st on the remaining Chinese imports he hasn't already taxed. The move immediately sent stock prices sinking. But when my people came home, they said, we're talking, we have another meeting in early September. I said, that's fine. But in the meantime, until such time as there's a deal, we'll be taxing them. Which, no, I don't know. I think, I think President Xi, who's somebody I like a lot, I think he wants to make a deal, but frankly, he's not going fast enough. He said he was going to be buying from our farmers. He didn't do that. He said he was going to stop fentanyl from coming into our country. It's all coming out of China. He didn't do that. We're losing thousands of people to fentanyl, and this was time. No, no, no. It's September 1. Uh, the reason is it takes a long time for the ships to come over, and it's a period of time. So I'm giving a four, like a four-week period of time before the tariffs go on. And with the announcement of the new tariff, stock slumped Thursday and bond prices spiked with word of a new 10% tariff on $300 billion worth of goods from China beginning next month. Investors got a shock today when they uh, heard about the new tariffs that the president plans to impose on Chinese goods. These are in addition to uh, other tariffs that are already in place. Uh, part of the reason that the markets were surprised was that they uh, had thought that the talks were going to continue uh, as of yesterday and today the president put out a series of tweets saying that these new tariffs would go into effect uh, next month that's only a couple weeks from now well uh, the goods that are now going to be targeted are ones that would affect 
uh, ordinary consumers, um, people, things that you might buy in the store, uh, scarves, like electronics. The previous goods were more uh, things that do not affect consumers directly. So now that we have new tariffs on a new set of goods that China's bringing in, that's when you're going to see a turn up in uh, retailers that need to bring in these goods like, say, Best Buy. So they are facing higher costs if these tariffs go through and fewer profits. So that's why the stocks went down today. Yeah, if, if you look at a graph of what the stock market was doing during the day, it's, it's pretty clear when those tweets came out because it was going up steadily for most of the day and then they kind of went off a cliff right after the tweets came out. Uh, the market was actually on its way to its best day in about two months. Uh, that went away uh, immediately. Uh, the markets uh, are a little bit nervous about the trade war. They think that it could slow the economy, uh, hurt companies. Uh, the price of oil went down a lot. That's a signal that investors think that the economy could slow. The U.S. plans to test a new missile in the coming weeks that would have been prohibited under a landmark 32-year-old arms control treaty that the U.S. and Russia ripped up on Friday. Washington and Moscow walked out of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty that President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev signed in 1987, raising fears of a new arms race. The U.S. said that for years, Moscow has been developing and fielding weapons that violate the treaty and threaten the United States and its allies, particularly in Europe. But the U.S. also sees an upside to exiting the treaty. Washington has complained for years that the arms control playing field was unfair. U.S. officials argued that not only was Russia violating the treaty and developing prohibited weapons, but that China also was making similar non-compliant weapons, leaving the U.S. alone in complying with the aging arms control pact. Now the U.S. is free to develop weapon systems that were previously banned. The U.S. is planning a test flight of such weapons in the coming weeks, according to senior administration official, who was not authorized to publicly discuss the weapons development and spoke only on the condition of anonymity. The current Pentagon budget includes $48 million for research on potential military responses to the Russian violations of the INF Treaty, but the options do not include a nuclear missile. When you support The Restore, it helps Habitat for Humanity build affordable housing for families. How does this work? New and gently used goods are donated to The Restore. The sale of these goods generate funds for building homes. For every $1 spent at The Restore, there is a $4 return on investment within our community. For example, Habitat homeowners have better educational outlook, increased employment stability, improved health, and reduction in the use of social services. Every donation and every dollar we receive through the Restore helps build sustainable housing for future homeowners. Everyone needs a foundation to build a future. To find out more and how you can help, drop by the Restore at 32 White Oak Drive or go to habitatsu.ca. And just like that, I'm white. <laughs> Unreal. So this is these are immediate results. Yes. Um, and I've seen them already because, as I told you before, we went to camera. I did the mental testing, and I cho and I per personally chose what color I thought that my teeth were when I started. This was the darkest tooth. It's a 12, and there is a huge difference. I see it immediately from the, from my eye tooth to this tooth. There is a definite difference, and it's a lot whiter, a lot brighter. Um, and this will stay for about how long? Now, first of all, after this treatment, you said 24 hours of um, 
A white, white diet. White diet. So no, yes. nothing that'll stay in the teeth. That's right. And any, what else should I be doing? Drink lots of water to help reduce the sensitivity and to rehydrate your teeth because the process does dehydrate your teeth. You mentioned that it's almost like the, the pores have been opened. They're not called pores, they're called... Uh, nodules. The nodules. And they're sort of open right now. And yes. they're going to close over time. The water will help close them faster. Yes. Uh, but that's why you don't want anything getting into getting into the nodules while the pores are still kind of closing up, right? Yes, and while they're open, that's when you're also going to feel the sensitivity, but sensitivity. it will go away once they close. You said some people do experience some sensitivity and they might want to take a... a, a, a an ibuprofen or a Tylenol, whatever you would normally take if you had a headache. Okay. And that can help with the sensitivity. And that's okay. And that's just for the sensitivity. Yeah. And I, I feel nothing. Like, honestly, maybe it'll change over time, but I don't feel like, other than polished, Okay, they feel clean. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. We were talking about the food, food-based? Food-grade hydrogen food peroxide. Food-grade hydrogen peroxide. This is killing the bacteria. Absolutely. Just like if you were to spray a cut and it fizzes up, this is killing all the bacteria in around your gums and on your teeth. So I'm not only am I brightening my teeth, I'm also like clean, getting gunk out of my mouth, really. Yes. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And I would think with less bacteria, it also probably makes my breath a little better because you don't have that bacteria in your mouth. Yes. Uh, now you're talking about, by the way, this chair, I would like to get one, but you said you couldn't find one anywhere other than Da Vinci, right? Yes. So you're gonna, you wanna get another one? I absolutely do. She wants to be able to have two people in her front porch at one time. And I said, first of all, how great, because it's fun to try to talk with that thing in your mouth. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so you can have a conversation with somebody, but also to have company, husband, wife. Husband and wife, mother, daughter. Mother, daughter, Mother's Day gift like that. I thought also for wedding parties. Yeah. You want to give your, your bridesmaids, your maid of honor, ma matron of honor a nice present, your, mm -hmm. your groomsmen, whatever. Buy yes. them a... We have gift cards. Gift, gift cards, cards go in. Yeah. They can get their teeth whitened uh, for the wedding. Mm -hmm. For graduations. Yes. What was the other one? You said husband and wife. I mean, bride and groom. Yes. Go in together. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Yeah. And then follow up. Let's talk a little bit about what we can do afterwards. Now my teeth are beautiful and white. I could try to get even more white if I wanted to by going back. Yes. How long would I have to wait between now and then, Rochelle? Only about two weeks. I could go back in two weeks and do the four treatments over again. It's because yes. I did four whitening sessions in this one for yes. the 90 minutes. So if you wanted to try to see if you can make yourself glow. Glow, right. Yes. Um, then for maintenance. You say you recommend, wait, maybe every six months or so? Yeah, every six months, come back for just a maintenance appointment, and that takes half as long, and it costs half as much money. So that's Fantastic. 40 minutes for $75. That's brilliant. Um, now, so once again, the appointments can be made directly online. Yes. Uh, at the three choices. Tell me again where or, or you, okay. where I can find you. Facebook, you can find me um, if you do a search for Da Vinci SSM. There it is right now. D-A-V-I-N-C-I. Yeah. Yes, SSM, no period Even in between. Even with my Mona Lisa smile. It's kind of funny because Mona Lisa didn't even show her teeth, did she? <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> I don't know why they call it. I have better than a Mona Lisa smile. Okay, so there's the Facebook page and there's where else? Um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. And that's also Da Vinci SSM. Okay. And then there's a little website and that's Da Vinci Teeth Whitening SSM. Okay. And all three ways you can, there's a button that you can click to book now. Okay. And that's to do it online or you can do it the old-fashioned way and give me a phone call and and book that way. Excellent. Do you do you work on the weekends? Yes, I do. Because you set your own, it's a great thing where you can set your own hours it too. It is. Great for yes. you. You have a child and you have pets and you have a husband and mm -hmm. so it's wonderful to be able to do it all Absolutely. and still have a business that you love. Yes, and everyone seems to love my, my place. They come in and they say like, wow, this is so beautiful because it is a sunroom so it, it's just really nice and comforting. I asked, I asked Rochelle, I said, do your neighbors know what you do? <laughs> <laughs> and then, because you know, you start a new business in your home, you don't necessarily know. I said, people are coming and going, and the neighbors would say, I don't know what she's doing in there, but everybody's with a smile on their face. But <laughs> now you have actually some signs that do say, Da Vinci Teeth da Vinci Whitening. Teeth whitening. There's nothing untoward going on at the Rodriguez home. <laughs> <laughs> Your teeth are incredible. I just really had noticed for the first time. Thank you. How many have you done <laughs> to get to where you want it to be? Did you do two? Three? Um, I did. I probably did two. Yeah. But I do regular maintenance. maintenance. I drink a lot of black coffee every morning. Three black coffee. Oh, you do. I do. So I need to whenever I'm doing something like this. Yeah. Uh, last week I did a touch up because I wanted to be at my best for on camera for yes. us. Yes.
Uh, okay. And the other thing I was going to say was you actually had to do obviously training for this and yes. you said it's both online and tell me about the Skype thing because that's kind of interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. So I had to do some reading and then my, my final, I guess it's almost like a uh, test. Yeah, final exam. Uh, yes, it was about two hours long and I had to set up my... Um, two hours? Yes. Okay. And you had to set everything up? Yes, I had to, I whitened, I used my husband as my, my practice person, Did my you? guinea pig. Yeah. And uh, she had to watch me uh, do everything the on online my husband. Person, yeah. the, the, the Skyper watched you. Yes. Wow. Well, this is fantastic. Congratulations. I think Thank it's a you. fabulous idea. It's a great addition to the city. And so if you want more information or if you want to just go, what, and can I just tell you, I, I, I could have I could just slept through that whole thing. I really, you said you have a lady who came in and kind of fell asleep and would just like snore right away after. Yes. It's that relaxing, it really is. And people also, you said, some people haven't taken this time for themselves, 90 minutes to just do nothing. That's right. And they come out feeling refreshed. Yes, and they love the massage chair. The massage chair is fabulous. A little visit with my dogs. Oh, yeah. and you also said that people have brought in audio books and stuff. Yes, listen. you so can bring in your own music or your own audio books and just put in your little earbuds. Earbuds and yeah. you're off to go. There you go. Rochelle Rodriguez, thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you so much, and you, Tim. you brought all of this stuff. Rochelle brought all this stuff into the studio with her, the chair and all. I really appreciate that. Thank you for having me. It was uh, fun. A real pleasure. So, there you go. Da Vinci Teeth Whitening, Rochelle Rodriguez, and you can find her on Facebook, Instagram, and her website. Yes. Okay. We'll be back with more. I'm going to smile all the way through the rest of the show now. Morning's with Loretta and Tim. <laughs> After this, I want to ting. <laughs> <laughs> As a nation, Canada has participated in all of the major world conflicts. In the Sioux area alone, over 10,000 men and women have enlisted in the Canadian Armed Forces. The Veterans Commemorative Monument aims to cement the legacy of the Canadian Armed Forces in stone. It will highlight the bravery, strength, courage and sacrifice of our service men and women. In times of need, they volunteered to serve us. Now it is our time to thank and recognize their sacrifice. You can help honor our men and women of service by donating today. To help construct this special, one-of-a-kind monument, visit thosewhoserve.ca to find out how to donate and more. Since 1899, the Machine Shop has been a unique space for innovation and creativity. Once a leading pulp and paper company, the Machine Shop was built by Francis H. Clerg, which later became part of St. Mary's Paper in 1984. After the closure of St. Mary's Paper in 2011, the Machine Shop spent four years vacant. In 2015, the Machine Shop reopened their doors to the community for the first time. From weddings to galas to concerts and festivals, the one-of-a-kind venue has something for everyone. We are proud to work with the community and local nonprofits to host major events such as Festival of Trees, Pearls and Plaid, an evening at Hogwarts and more. While you're here, wind down at the Mill Steakhouse and Wine Bar for a quiet dining experience or watch a game and try a wood fire oven pizza and local draft at the Boiler Room. Don't forget to save room for house-made gelato and baked goods at the Gelato Mill. For more information on the Machine Shop events, history and restaurants, visit machineshopinc.ca. Three great places, one historic venue. Coming to get you, Barbara. Listen to them. Children of the night. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> so we I totally forgot. Welcome back to Mornings with Luann and Tim. Laura from the Humane Society. Good morning. I didn't know your name the other day because it wasn't Friday, but um, thanks for joining us again You're as welcome. always. Laura has look at these two. They are brothers. Yes. Names are Rick and Morty. Okay, who are, who are Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty is a TV show, it's an animated series now. Really? Yeah, it's like I guess the twenty tens version of 
like somewhere between Family Guy and South Park, I guess. I okay. know probably a lot of Rick and Morty fans are going to be out there like, oh, no, it's not. It's actually like this. But <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to see it. It's all about the cats right now. Enough. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> one simple question. Alex. I forgot you're allergic, so here we go. I'm definitely I'm like, allergic. Join us for the cats, Alex. He's like, what? And I said, sit there, and I give him a cat. And he's like, oh, okay, game over. Oh, Come God. back in an hour, you'll see a completely different Alex. <laughs> and you're going to be all swollen up and like, <gasps> really? Yeah. Sorry about that. But they're adorable. Oh, look at them. They're brothers, and they are playing. I was holding on to Morty for a <laughs> meow. I was holding on to Morty for a while, but he did not like being separated from his brother. Does this no. mean they have to be adopted they together? They almost after yeah. seeing this, or at least with another cat. I mean, they seem kind of bonded. They really do. How do you tell them apart? Uh, Morty's bigger. Morty. He weighs almost a pound more. He's so also he's a little feistier. Okay, Shall I try is. taking him again? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Here, take Here, Rick. I'll take Come on, Rick. Oh, Rick is littler. Yeah. Well, how'd you get these beautiful cats? He's a little bit cats? oranger, too. Oh, look at Morty's hat. Oh, you got cool. the knack for holding on to Morty. <gasps> Hi, <laughs> they're so curious. They're beautiful. Where did they come from? These guys were just left in our after hours drop off box together. The little brothers together? Yep. What do they need done? Uh, they will need to be neutered. They're not quite ready yet. Um, they've already had their first set of shots. When they get neutered, they can get their rabies shot because it's done all around the same time, six months of age. And then they'll just need their and their yearly booster, and that's it. They're ready to go. How much to adopt them? Uh, as a pair, it's actually you get a deal. As a pair, <gasps> I don't think we've ever talked about this before. We never have, Laura. No. So if you adopt these two guys, even though they're not neutered and maybe not ready to be neutered when they go out the door, we actually pay for both neuters at the vet. So And, and you get a discount. So you pay, it works out to be the $30 adoption fee for both. And then only like an additional like ninety dollars or something like that, and you don't pay no anything kidding? for this the neuters. Guys, it's a twofer. It's, it's a, a two twofer. for one cat sale. Two for one cat sale of yeah. the humane society. Look at him. He's just out. Cold. I was visiting my friend Bob Cooper and his wife Peggy yesterday, and they have one of the most beautiful, hysterically funny Siamese blue oh, eyes it? they got, and he was a straight from the humane society. Was he? He is a piece. They've had him for three years. He's gorgeous. So happy. And they're unique too. Their oh, temperaments. But so you can get two. I think someone should adopt them together. Look, yeah. look at yeah. how calm he uh -huh. is now. Maury's going to go to sleep and you're... He is, Laura. <laughs> um, I was going to ask something about... Oh, you have, a, oh. You, have a, you have a benefit or something coming up or... We have, a we have our, our dog walk coming up. When is that? Our dog walk is September 14th, I believe. I remember 15th. looking online and seeing the something Sunday. in events. I'm pretty sure it's the 14th. Oh, and then also you're going to be joining um, in a future show. Habitat for Humanity is coming yes. in for the dog house bill. The dog house bill. And that's going to be on a Friday, so she's actually going to be awesome. here. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I'll have to bring a dog that day. Bring a dog. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, okay, so once again, are, do, are you open on the Civic Holiday Monday? We're not open Monday, no. We are. We'll be there, but we're not open. <laughs> we'll be here to keep you entertained on Monday morning when you're not there. Uh, so you'll be, you're not going to be there Monday. No. But you're there all weekend. Yes, and we're, we're still available for emergencies. You said something interesting to Alex about these cats not being somewhere where everyone could see them. Oh, yes. Uh, right now, our population, okay. as we've talked about, is uh, we're really full. The cat population? Yeah, and dogs. We're get, we're, really? We've got a lot. Is it that, does that happen this time of the year? Yeah, it does. It's stretching out a little further than normal, but... Um, oh. So these guys are actually on our stray side still, but they are available for adoption. So if you see them and are interested in them, just let us know. <laughs> You're making him mad. He wants to go back with his brother. I don't think his brother wants him anymore. Well, listen to you. What's, I'm sorry to... I'm getting you angry. So listen, that's almost our show. I want to say thank you again for Laura for coming in. As always, Alex, you're doing it to yourself now. I know. It's okay. They're cute. I said I'll deal with you. You're back on later. Monday, right? I'm back on Monday. Monday if I survive Monday, the next Tuesday, hour. Wednesday next week, you're with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will be on the morning Thursday show. and Friday, Christina Coutu is coming in to co-host with me because Luann's still on holidays with her family. Must be nice. And uh, we'll see you again next Friday. Yes. Have a great long weekend. You as well. Thank you very much. And so we'll see you Monday morning for morning with Luann and Tim with Alex Parr and a full week next week of Fringe. We've got all the different, you know, the Fringe festivals August 8th to the 18th. Um, I'm booking interviews with almost all the Fringe performers who are coming to highlight oh, their, awesome. their performances. So we'll see you Monday. Thanks for joining us on Mornings with Luann and Tim. Have a great long weekend. <laughs>